Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Haytham bin Tariq, where they exchanged Eid al Fitr good wishes, wishing the two countries and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. A telephone call was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Kuwaiti Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, where His Majesty conveyed his greetings to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. They also exchanged Eid Al Fitr good wishes, wishing the two countries and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. The Council of Representatives held its 18th regular session in the first annual session of the sixth legislative term chaired by its Speaker Ahmed bin Salman al The Council reviewed the responses of the Minister of Social Development to the questions submitted by the MPs regarding the number of beneficiaries of Social Security and the criteria and principles adopted by the Ministry in calculating the allowances that are paid to citizens. During the session, a draft law was discussed to add a new Article Number 6 by by to law number three of 2008 regarding the general authority for social insurance and the council decided to take approval and refer it to the sure council a draft law was also approved to add a new article number nine to decree law number 78 of the year 2006 regarding insurance against unemployment and referred it to the sure council a number of proposals were approved such as the urgent approval regarding the government taking all necessary measures to limit the monopoly of drug suppl suppliers by not putting them in on the market with the intention of affecting their prices The Minister of Tourism and Chairperson of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEEA, Fatma Therafi, held the authority's board meeting for the first quarter of 2023. The meeting reviewed the topics on its agenda and the implementation of the strategy of 2022-2026, as well as the tourism projects that were undertaken during the first quarter. The board discussed the details of the most prominent touristic events that will be hosted at the Exhibition World Bahrain in Sakhir. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced the first quarter report of the year 2023, which demonstrates the success of the initiatives and programs that were launched. More in this report. The tourism sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain has witnessed remarkable development through the implementation of the goals and pillars of the tourism strategy for 2022-2026. As part of its endeavors to achieve prosperity and progress, Bahrain is constantly working to underline the importance of its tourism sector to contribute to achieving the strategic goals of the Economic Recovery Plan, whose most important objectives include highlighting Bahrain's position as a global tourism center, increasing the contribution of tourism to the gross domestic product, and the number of targeted countries as well as diversifying tourism products. As part of the recovery plan strategy, a number of major national tourism projects were implemented such as the Exhibition World Bahrain and Sakhir, which hosts many major conferences and events in Bahrain, including the Inter-Parliamentary Union Assembly, which attracted a large number of visitors from outside the kingdom. Among the strategic projects that were implemented are the development project of Bilaj al Jazair and the Dana Amphitheatre. Tourism activities in the first quarter of this year contributed to raising hotel occupancy to 80%, especially during the weekends. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah bin Adil Fakhru, chaired the 16th meeting of the SMEs Development Council, which was held via video conference with the participation of the council members. The minister praised the tangible cooperation between the members, stressing that the coming stages require more solidarity to overcome challenges and successfully complete initiatives within the specific timetable to benefit the SMEs sector. The meeting included a presentation by the Director of SMEs Development, Sheikha Fadl, on the national performance indicators of the SMEs Development Council, in addition to reviewing the values of performance indicators of the completed initiatives and their target percentage in the next stage. The Ministry of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Waqf affirmed the continuation of implementing initiatives aimed to enhance success to justice or access to justice and improving the efficiency of the performance of the auxiliary bodies of the judicial facility. The Ministry revealed the most prominent in implementation performance indicators for the year 2022 where 100 billion Bahrain dinars has been collected from debtors in enforcement course and 88 million Bahrain dinars were paid to 146,000 beneficiaries during the same year. The new retirement law came into force as of today as the new provisions apply to government and private sector employees in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report. A new stage in the development of legislation in the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
the latest of which is the entry into force of the new retirement law, based on the principles that take into account the sustainability of pension funds. The application of the law also contributes to enhancing productivity by increasing the years of service for individuals to reach the highest percentage of pension after retirement, which is a step aimed at achieving continuity in the march of development through the contribution of the human resource and the various government agencies and private sector institutions that the kingdom embraces. The new retirement law contained many articles and benefits, the most prominent of which is equality between men and women in calculating the retirement pension and years of service in order to promote equality between both genders. The insured is 45 years old as they are entitled to an additional pension of 10%, bringing the pension to 90% of the salary. The new law did not cancel early retirement at the age of 55, but it cancelled the legal periods that are added upon early retirement. Article 7 of the new retirement law stipulates that the law does not apply to the employee who is eligible for pension entitlement when the provisions of this law comes into force except after one year from the date of its entry into force, as the law permitted retirement during the transitional period specified in one year from the date of its entry into force in accordance with the provisions of the previous law. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs has announced that the Moon Sighting Panel will convene on Thursday evening to receive news and testimonies about the birth of the new Shawwal Crescent for the year 1444 Hijri. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs urges the public who cites the new Shawwal Crescent to contact the Moon Sighting Panel. The Sunni Waqf Directorate announced that Eid al-Fitr prayers will be held in official mosques on the morning of the first day of Eid of the month of Shawwal 1444 Hijri at 5.28 a.m. and following the Sunnah of the Prophet, may peace be upon him. The Kingdom of Bahrain is used to witness at, at the end of the holy month of Ramadan every year popular festivities that roams neighborhoods chanting songs expressing their sadness over the parting of the holy month. More in this report. This popular heritage that the people of Bahrain are used to doing in the last days of the holy month of Ramadan is still present and passed on from generation to generation. With these sad words, marches are launched that roam neighborhoods, led by traditional bands repeating chants and farewell to the holy month, 
expressing their sadness for its parting, recalling all the wonderful moments and beautiful nights. This popular heritage has been passed down from the kingdom's ancestors, so the people of Bahrain come out in the last three days of the holy month, chanting songs that summarize the details of the holy month and all the acts of worship that Muslims performed in these blessed days. The holy month comes with love and leaves in a hurry, leaving behind beautiful memories and creates astonishing moments year after year.